Now, LifeAdministration.com presents the Life Administration Podcast. Here are your hosts, Leslie Loftus and Ryan Taylor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Life Administration Podcast. My name is Ryan Taylor, and with me, as always, is... Leslie Loftus. Hello, everyone. Guys, we are, we're shifting back into attempt something normal. We are. For once. We're going to try to attempt something. It's a very basic normal, but... We're, we're going back to our bread and butter. Right. Yes. <laughs> In the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> better, better, better. Yikes. Yuck. So, uh, today we are actually going to be talking about basic bathroom. So, we're getting back to norm, normal topics. We're trying to... Um, but before we start... I have some fun statistics about our bathrooms. Oh, yay. Go for it. We're going to... I I think that these are fun. Okay. So, we'll say first off that 7 million cell phones are dropped in a toilet every year. I lost two of my most favorite cell phones. As a matter of fact, there's a small possibility I would still have a 4S if not for... No, there's not. Because you oh, yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't turn wouldn't on. Work. It wouldn't turn on. You would have fine. updated and it would have broken. All right, fine. But <laughs> the point was I liked that version. And um, yeah, I stuck it in yes. the back pocket of my jeans and into the toilet it went. Okay. <laughs> the average person spends three months of his or her life sitting on the toilet. Three months. Of their entire lifespan. Of their what's, entire the, life. what's the average lifespan for that? I don't know. This is this is not digging into your statistics (laughs) things. This is just for fun, Leslie. (laughs) Episode seven, critical thinking. Go back and look. Um, Eighty-five percent of bathroom injuries are sustained by falling in the toilet when the seat is up. Put the seat down, fellas. No way, really? Yes. I would assume it's falling in the shower or the bathtub. Eighty-five percent of bathroom injuries. See, there is a reason that women get enraged about so there you go right because you do you do you sit harder and that the extra inch and a half i've I've fallen in before hard porcelain it hurts yep it it Mm -hmm. it it does uh let's see quickly going through a couple more here (laughs) oh i like this one because i'm a musician flushing has a particular sound it's in the key of e flat to be specific Okay, because okay. that, that one didn't land as well. So, yeah. uh, all the I, musicians I, all the out musicians there are like, like wow. wow, that's pretty cool. I wonder if I could do something with that. Yeah, Everyone those of else, us that are tone deaf for like, care, I don't they, get that. You care, you care zero. Yeah. <laughs> um, the most time, the time that toilets are flushed the most during the Super Bowl <laughs> halftime show. <laughs> Uh, this okay. would be American toilets, I assume. I, I, I guess. Because then I, I, I'm guessing World Cup for everybody else. But. I mean, maybe, but whatever, Leslie. You just take the fun <laughs> out of everything. It's ridiculous. Fun uh, sucker. Yeah, fun sucker. <laughs> uh, and you, like, you actually My spend... My dad used to call me a fun sponge. A fun, so the, uh, the actual time spent in the bathroom, which is the uh-huh. relevant topic, just being in yes. the bathroom. Bathroom is... 182 hours per year for each individual. So that's a lot of time in the that's bathroom. That's a lot. I mean, that's that's weeks and weeks and mm-hmm. weeks, right? So that's that's pretty good. No, it's not weeks. It's like mm-hmm. it's like a week. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nevertheless, a week in one room is a long time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So we are here to talk about basic bathroom today, right? Right. Okay. So what are we talking about? Give us a little 10,000 foot overview. Um, well, first of all, how to set one up. Again, most of the basic episodes that we do in this show, we don't go to the nitty gritty basics because we assume people are dumb and can't figure it out. Um, we go to the nitty gritty basics because sometimes, of course, the stuff that I'm going to say now, um, oh my gosh, I could have had a V8. <laughs> you know, as soon as I say it, you're like, yes, that makes complete sense. And I should have thought of it myself. But most of this life administration stuff is stuff that somebody needs to at least tell you, needs to at least point out. Um, sorry, I've been thinking, I have toddler, um, niece and nephew, and you've got a toddler, and I've been thinking about this. The first child has to figure out that they can scale the countertops. Yes. You know, the second child can watch the first child and learns it much faster. We actually have a great story in our family where we hear on the baby monitor, Patrick, our... Um, two-year-old telling Peyton um, our one-year-old or no three-year-old and one-year-old 
explaining to Peyton a little under one how to you know, like put her foot up and get over and then she we hear the thump 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 running down the hall is mommy and daddy I got out yeah. right because somebody taught you right can you figure it out on your own absolutely does it make it go so much faster and so much easier if somebody says actually that's the thing that you need that's the little practical oh got it there yes it so we're going to talk about how to put a bathroom together cool sounds really basic um and then also the biggest thing because bathrooms even more so than kitchens are germ vectors and we're all thinking about germs and so so yes cleaning a, cleaning a bathroom is slightly different than cleaning well anything else one it really needs to be done and two it needs to be done weekly but okay we'll get to that so two things mm -hmm. if i thought my e-flat toilet bowl reference fell flat <laughs> Oh my gosh, I should have had a V8, that reference. <laughs> All right, that's I, people of a certain age. It was a fabulous commercial. It was really funny, you know. That I'm sure the, 18 to 22-year-olds will absolutely well, love. Oh, I'm going to make it better because I'm going to explain it right now. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to explain the boomer joke. Boomer alert. So there was a whole series. I'm not a boomer. I know, this but I, 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 I call Fine. my... <laughs> <laughs> I say so that to a whole myself. series of commercial where the person goes, they're thirsty or something, and they, oh gosh, fine, I'll just have some juice, or oh, I'll just have some water. You know, they just took whatever they had, and then, ah, uh, they always whacked themselves in the head with their hand. So if you're watching, you could see. I could have had a V8 because after they drank the thing, then they're like, oh my gosh, I could have had vegetable juice. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now when I explain it, it really is bad, but. <laughs> Yeah. Since I was, you know, five, six, seven at the time, oh my gosh, I could have had a V8 just kind of stuck with those of us of the early 70s genre. And um, yeah, so I should have thought of that. Is Yeah, I would normally say Mark for edit here, but I just got to <laughs> let that just, I'm going to let people just let you go down that, that, that dark slope with it you. It really that does was... make it worse when you explain it. Yeah, it sure does. It sure does. <laughs> It makes me feel better about my E-flat comment. Okay. So Here we go. I was rescuing you. Thank you. You're well, welcome. Well, well done. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do want to say this before we start. And I don't know if this is the right section. Okay. Can we talk about guest hand towels in the bathroom? Yes, we can. Okay. Because that's, it's a thing. It's, it is a thing. Don't use this towel because it's only for guests. Oh, Okay. Right. There's all sorts of stuff because there's wrapped like this, up around. Yeah. Guest all right. Let's towels. go. Let's let's okay. hit. Okay. You know what? You you started in on it. Well, let's go ahead and go with the okay. guest towels. Okay. Um, because there is th some people will have guest towels that they're just they're there to look pretty. They're not, right. and, and they usually have lots of lace and like stuff on them. Like you can kind of tell that because they're not really gonna dry even, your hands well. Even there's guests no, don't feel comfortable using those towels. Right. I mean, they're really they, think of them kind of like wallpaper. Right. <laughs> I, mean, they, I mean, that's what they're it's kind like. of. They're supposed to go in with the decor. Um, yeah, y'all know me. I'm always a function before. I like form. I like form. I like things that look pretty. I'm a function before a form kind of person. Um, I'm not a fan of the fancy guest towels that no one's allowed to actually use. No. Not to mention the fact the longer they sit there, they get dusty, and then they they kind of end up doing the whole silk flower thing where they just they look kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah, kind of gross. Um, but then there's another guest towel versus hand towel thing. Um, some people insist on putting out some sort of paper towel, um, you know, so like little napkins. Mm -hmm. I think basically thick dinner napkins, mm -hmm. um, so that everybody uses a single use and then throws it away. Right. Um, and then there are others of us that are like, no, it's reduce, reuse, then recycle. So, um, for instance, in my guest bathrooms, you know, I keep linen towels that are then washed, mm -hmm. um, like tw are replaced about twice a week and mm -hmm. washed through there. Um, so, yeah, there's multiple theories on how to use. But, yeah, you need to have bathroom set up. This is one of if you're going to have anybody in your home at all that's not just you, you need a bathroom that is appropriate for guests to go. So if you have the, I mean, I know some of you have small apartments, say, um, if you have the option, there should be a half bath um, somewhere in your public area, off the kitchen, off the living room or whatever. Um, and most of the time, you're not, but when you have a party, it gets a ton of use and it gets a ton of use by multiple people. Um, so you need to have like 
when I'm having parties, I don't, I not only have one linen towel in there because, you know, it gets used by three people or four people in quick succession, then it looks pretty great. So I have multiple. So when we set up for parties, there are um, multiple linen towels hanging some down on the counter so that people can kind of use them and cycle through them. And then I'll have somebody check in the middle of the party. These are bigger parties, you know, mm-hmm. like a hundred people or something. Somebody check in the middle of the party and switch them out um, to keep them fresh. Um, but you need in your bathroom for guests, you need soap and you need the hand towels. Um, also always have spare paper, ta- paper, Toilet paper rolls, sorry. Yes. You would think it right now. I could think of toilet paper. Um, <laughs> <laughs> always have spare toilet paper rolls easily accessible. Um, so, for instance, I have a basket under the vanity sink. Um, so, you don't have to... Spare paper toilet rolls need to be where you don't have to get up. Because we've all been in that situation where you've just gone to the bathroom and then you look and realize that there is no toilet paper and, you know, and it's the sitcom thing of oh yeah hand me some yeah. but if you're in somebody's house what are you gonna and you're a guest hey can you right or it needs to be where somebody can just not get off the toilet and reach it and get it i also for um ladies like to keep sanitary products in the bathroom in an accessible place <laughs> you're right yeah excuse me just no a, just allergies just allergies i'm going to at this moment uh-huh. stand up oh and go yes, check. just to check because to check. we had this problem um last week y'all know the video or the episode we recorded with my husband it didn't actually we didn't put it up as video because for some reason our camera stopped recording what 10 minutes in we don't know why yeah no it was it was it was it was gone this was good by the way we're 12 minutes and change so that that, that's that makes sense yeah actually i went and hit the stop button Uh uh-huh and then it was gone so i mean we don't know i don't know hopefully when that i mean Hopefully it'll be fine. Right. Um, Because, you know, you guys want to see all of this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Um, (laughs) All right. So let's, so before we move on, my 30 second commercial Mm -hmm. break here is, guys, we're going to have a serious chat really quickly. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let you have that chat. I know I have a hunch. I know what this chat's about. Go for it. When I was dating my wife, she had to come over one day after work and use my bathroom my guest bathroom i had two bathrooms at the time i had one in my bedroom which was fine for me and then i had a guest bedroom a guest bathroom that guest bathroom was not up to form it 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 did not pass the inspection test how my wife and i got married after that horrible trip to the bathroom is still yet a mystery to me i took zero care of that bathroom uh, I mean, I never went in it, so it didn't right. bother me. And I wasn't, you know, if I had like guys coming over, like they certainly didn't care. But it was getting use and it wasn't getting any attention. And yeah. 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 So yeah. it probably smelled. I'm yep. thinking soap scum was involved in uh-huh. some way, shape or form, which by the way, soap scum is it's that gross film that you get around the bathroom. Oh, yeah. 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 We're, we're talking no hand soap, no place to dry your hands. End of the roll of the toilet paper. Uh, yeah, because be- guys beard can just clippings. shake it off. Yeah. I mean, uh, it oh, was... My. What was anybody doing shaving their beard in there? Uh, Sean would come and visit sometimes when he was a pilot uh-huh. at that point. And so he would come and visit for like and three so or four days. So he'd brush his teeth and then... Yeah, he would just go in there and be like, hey okay, man, let's but... get ready, you know? And he would use uh-huh. that bathroom. And, and so I, I blame it on him. But it's no... Actually, it's my fault. I just... I never cleaned it because I didn't care about it. And right. then all of a sudden, in a flash... That you room needed to be instantly. used. Yes. And I, I would just say, I know that there are other guys out there that right now have this problem and it is going to spring up on you. So take this episode to heart, do the things that we're talking about. And instead, like, because I just had to dig out. I mean, there yeah. were comments made and I did. I mean, she still tells people that story. We've been married for 13 years. And she still tells people uh-huh. that story. That she still married you? Oh, no, 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 I get it. Because, and I will tell this story, it's not technically mine, um, but um, both my brother-in-law and sister-in-law have been told this story many times, and it's testament to how much we like my sister-in-law. Um, Jim and I really, Jim and I were engaged at the time, and um, 
he was living in Geneva, Switzerland, and I was living in Austin. We were coming to Houston um, to do some wedding planning, and um, we were staying with Jay, his brother, and Jay had a relatively new girlfriend that was getting serious quickly that Jim and I really, really, really liked. Um, and she was coming down, she lived in Dallas, and she was coming down to Houston for a visit so that we could all do like, you know, a double date sort of thing and, you know, getting to know each other. That We were we were interviewing her, um, but we'd already met her once or twice before and we, <sighs> Jay's bathroom was, I went to the store, bought fresh towels. Oh no. Like, no, 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 the whole thing, I mean. Oh, the, no. um, and and it's, it sounds like exactly the same thing of your half bathroom. It wasn't, it was just benign neglect and yeah. benign neglect after, you know, a couple months and shower, like the soaps come in the tub. Um, Jim had to get in there and like scrub, like yeah. I had to go get scrub brushes and stuff yeah, like that. The Brillo and Vicky comes knows, out. Vicky knows this is how much we loved her. We cleaned the bathroom so that she, she wouldn't run away. <laughs> I mean, it was it was a save on my part. If I didn't yeah. play the guitar and sing, I would have been in trouble. I'm going to be straight with you. That bathroom would have sunk most men. <laughs> so, how do you solve this problem? Weekly cleaning. Yes. Bathrooms are not actually that complicated, but they do need to be cleaned. No matter what, at minimum, bathrooms need to be cleaned once a week. And that means tubs, toilets, um, sinks, and countertops. Just gotta happen right so is there and any it needs kind to of... be done with harsher chemicals than your you, right so this is not just you know yes you can hit the bathroom mirror with ammonia and stuff like but you need to use a real bathroom cleaner for um for your other surfaces mm -hmm. you can't like I, i've seen somebody oh this is a cleaning thing so i'll just put a little ap cleaner in the toilet no you know? no um and these were old college tricks you know like yeah. oh you know we're living together and um with roommates and stuff and uh, Oh, goodness gracious. Just put a little bit of 409 in the toilet. Yeah. Let it sit for a second. It'll be fine. Not, not nah. sufficient. Not nah. sufficient. Um, so you need to use the bathroom cleaners that you like. Research what you like. Um, I will put up some links in the show notes about different types of bathroom cleaners. Um, so we don't need to get too much into the detail here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that stuff needs to, and here's another thing for cleaning your bathrooms. Um, try to avoid using sponges. Use things that you can throw in the wash um, with bleach. Bleach is your friend. Just So why, why would one want to avoid using sponges? Um, sponges, it's harder to clean them and they can mm -hmm. harbor more bacteria. That's um, true. And especially if you, you know, use them only once a week or so. So you use it and then you rinse it out a little bit and you put it in the closet. So now it's in a dark, damp space. Um, and, you know, you just rinsed it out so that who knows what's actually growing in the foam of the sponge. Um, and then you get the musty smells and you get the, and, and some of it could be like, I mean, you know, bathrooms, is staph infections, like all sorts of stuff, like the most bodily fluids go through your bathroom from saliva to the excrement parts. I mean, it's just... It, it's the germ vector of your house, um, with the exception maybe of foodborne illnesses of your kitchen. You know, don't go, you know, preparing your salad right. on the same cutting board that you just butchered the chicken on, right? Right. Um, but other than that, bathrooms is where it can all get mixed up and come together. And you then put the sponge away in the cabinet where it sits for a week, able to grow whatever it wants to grow. Okay, so... That's a nice. We, we've kind of gotten, yeah, yeah that we've gotten away it, from the overview and yeah. into the episode and just so, kind of so let, let's, structure us up. It's, it's no problem. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. So let's let's talk about daily maintenance, right? So every day when I go into the bathroom, what are the things that I that I'm looking for to make sure that my my bathroom stays in tip top shape that I'm doing on the daily? Um, sinks and countertops. Mostly. And then, um, so surfaces, really. Okay. Um, so sinks and countertops are your biggest daily thing. You brush your teeth twice a day. You spit it out and then the tooth... So if you don't wipe out the little toothpaste residue out of your sink, well, it doesn't take two or three days before you've got... A grossness, science experiment. A science experiment growing in, in your sink, right? And when it's wet and when you've just spit the toothpaste out, it's real easy to just kind of swish it down, mm -hmm. you know, with a little bit and turn on the water and just yep. do it. It's done. Easy to prevent the problem. 
once it gets dried and caked on, then you're going to be scrub, you know, putting water on it and scrubbing and everything. But actual right. effort is required. Actual effort is required. Same thing with your countertops next to your sink. You know, a quick wipe. I've had some friends that would keep like, say, Clorox wipes on just under the sink on hand. So at the end of the day um, or the beginning, whichever, you know, set up your own schedules. Again, what mm-hmm. was I don't remember which episode that is, but kind of your daily routines. You know, so clean out the sink and maybe wipe down the cabinets. Um, or I've been known to do it. So I usually keep a washcloth um, next to my sink. Mm-hmm. Um, and so at the end of the day, when I'm getting ready to put the washcloth in the laundry, I will fold it kind of inside out. Um, and then just give my sink countertop a quick wipe down yep. and then put that in the laundry. Yep. Um, so daily maintenance doesn't need to be a huge thing. Uh, depending on the type of showers and shower doors you have, there are some after shower um, spray. In this, you're trying to avoid soap scum because soap scums build up. If you're cleaning weekly, this shouldn't be much of a problem. It's pretty easy to just, you know, wipe it down with an actual, you know, a soft scrub kind of slightly abrasive cleaner. Um, But you can also do a little rinse spray Mm -hmm. um, that will help keep soap scum down to a minimum because if soap scum starts to build up, then it requires a lot more elbow grease to get it off and it's gross and i mean it really it's it's that ring around your tub it just looks it it screams dirty it screams i am a dirty surface okay Uh so Uh uh-oh let let's talk about so i i have a stand-up shower that i use at my house and what you guys if you have a stand-up shower will notice is that in the metal cracks and things like that Mm -hmm. I know we're talking on daily maintenance, but this is our segue okay. into weekly maintenance. Mm-hmm. That I let that sit for a really long time. And I mean, it was hands and knees, Ajax cleaner, toothbrush. Uh huh, Q tips. I toothpicks. mean, uh-huh. the, amount, the amount of time that was spent for the amount of space that needed to be cleaned was not okay it i mean i could have done more housework in that time than taking care of literally the bo- the bottom mm-hmm. of the shower but then was, i'm sure it was uh, mildewing uh, and molding yes, like, uh, which is uh, yeah. going to corrode the connections of you know like so the um water seals yep. that you've got it corrodes those um so your faucet leaks your are your plumbing will leak Mm -hmm. um then it'll leak out of the shower itself which then causes water damage and the rest like this is the kind of thing that it has knock-on effects if you don't take care of it really easy to maintain weekly yes pain in the butt to let it ride yep it's it um (laughs) you you will you experience as a cruel mistress she is and she and, and she taught me a valuable lesson that day that this is one of those things that you want to just take care of. Now, I have a, an aversion to cleaning the bathroom. I wonder why. Well, because my mom... Experience like this? Or well, like hold this? on. Before, my mom... Well, my, I used to have... So, okay. Uh-huh. When I came home from middle school, like, I wanted to come home and play Mortal Kombat. Like, that's what I uh-huh. wanted to do. But, of course, my mom worked as a, as a nurse, so she wasn't home. Like, I was like uh-huh. a, a, a key latch kid. You latch know? key. Yeah. Latch key, yeah. Uh-huh. Key latch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so I she would give me this list of things to do, and always the bathroom would be on it. That was one of my chores was the daily, mm-hmm. right? And the, the litter box was also mm-hmm. on there. I also do not like changing litter. So anyway, I, mm-hmm. ha- I have like PTSD when it comes mm-hmm. to cleaning the bathroom. So I would kind of let it go more than I should. And anyway, I, I, we had problems with our bathtub because mm-hmm. of this. We had problems with our shower because of this. Um, and then in the upstairs toilet, which doesn't hardly ever get used, we had problems with our toilet up there too because of lack of use and lack of cleaning, right? right. Like I had to replace the guts because all the water got all disgusting and, and mm-hmm. hard and awful. So um, this is definitely an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Like I, And I we say- haven't even gotten into the illness and contamination no 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 i'm not we're not even there yet we're not even there right that's before we get the oh my gosh you've got a staff infection from your own bathroom this this is just like wouldn't you like to be doing anything else with your time than dealing with such a small area in your house that you do in fact spend a lot of time in but can just be taken care of just by quick little daily shots bang 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 Mm -hmm. bang and then maybe 20 minutes for the week right uh it doesn't take a ton of time it doesn't take a ton of time yeah also in your 
weekly cleaning on your bathroom and you just went through one of them, you know, in a stand-up shower, the little nooks and crevices, bathrooms, even more so than kitchens, have a lot of odd spots. So for instance, where the hinges of your toilet seat mm -hmm. um, meet the toilet, um, and you know, so you put the toilet seat, you don't see it that often, but when the toilet seat's down, you can't, it can get gross back there. Just gross. I hear personal experience coming on. We, we, I'll just say this. We call it butt dust. <laughs> okay, that, that makes me want to gag. <laughs> you know, but I mean, it's true. I mean, because sometimes it is just lint. Like it's just, you know, because it's slightly moist there. So, you know, lint from your towels and everything. Like, yeah. And then pieces of hair. I mean, Ew. It's gross back there. Yep. It's gross. That needs... Don't make me have to put the explicit tag on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're, we're, we're branching towards oh, that territory. No. What, sweetheart? No, I can't, I can't take you on a walk right now. Sorry, one of the dogs has come to join us. And during this time of um, corona, they have gotten more used to daily. Yes. But it's not time right now, but Reagan. But it's not time yet. Exactly. So I'm we're to on. This up we're, so he doesn't grab it. That's fine. We're on our. We're on our weekly. Mm -hmm. We're on our weekly schedule. Right. Okay. Um. The other thing to hit floors. Yes. Because bathroom floors, they just they take it from everything from talcum powder to beard shavings, mm -hmm. um, to toenail clippings. I mean, just yeah. What? If you have a small bathroom, honestly, keep a small broom, um, in or near your bathroom, and I would do a daily, um, sink counter wipe, um you know, shower, daily cleaner, spritzer, and rinse real quick, mm -hmm. and a quick sweep. And, th and that can be done in less than five minutes. Right. Like, that just, that, right. yeah. You can just knock that out. Um, what about the rugs around the bathroom? So in our bathroom and in many other bathrooms, we have the, oh, you get out of the tub mat. Yep. Uh, I'm getting and, ready to crochet one of those. I've yep, gotten back okay. into crocheting after cool. you know, Corona. And then we have the mat that typically is near the near the sink, mm -hmm. and then we have the pee pee catcher mat, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So how often should we look? How often should we be taking care of those? At least once a week, depending on soil uses. So, for instance, if you have a um, toddler learning how to go to the bathroom and the pee pee catcher mat gets pee pee on it, I mean. You need to be doing that one at least daily. Now, or if you have a guy that lives in, in your house, like who has on. no aim. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and, and, no, none of us have aim, by the way. Okay. No, so just, it's not our imagination. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Sorry for breaking the bro code there, but uh, <laughs> you know, every single guy that's listening to this can just say like they go, they go to go, and that initial shot is just. Where not does, even close to where he thought it was going to be. And then ready, you make, fire, aim. Yep. You make the quick adjustment, but the damage has been done. So, yes. okay, ladies, you're then, not imagining it. Right. Then that one needs to be cleaned daily at minimum. <laughs> if it gets, really gets a full soak, you yep. just switch. So. <laughs> full soaking. <laughs> okay. Super Soaker 2000. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, the ones outside your shower or bathtub and outside your sink um, kind of depends on traffic and, you know, how dirty you come in and all that kind of stuff. And your tolerance. You know, some people are going to want to change those every day or every other day. Other people will be like, eh, you know what, a week's fine. Yeah. Um, kind of go with that. But at minimum, bathrooms need a full turnover and full cleaning um, once a week. So before we go into the more of the um, the the disease germ portion of uh -huh. it sorry it's on my brain right how can yeah, it not yeah, be right exactly. now? exactly it's on everybody's brain well let's just talk about the cleanliness and the countertops as far as like junk is concerned so one of one of the things that i get into with my my wife is like i like my toothbrush out on the the counter not like i don't want to get into the sanitary issues of it i just like so on my you want one motion storage. You want right. to be able to reach over reaching, and grab it because you it. use it twice a day, right. at least. Right. Right. Um, I like. I have a little basket that I put on the corner that has you know my gel, my my deodorant, my mm -hmm. contact solution. Right. She she always when she goes and does the weekly cleaning of the bathroom, mm -hmm. that basket gets moved every stinking time. 
Moved so, to a drawer or moved to another location? Moved to underneath the sink. or Because I, how many times do I have to tell you? And I want this stuff on the bathroom counter. <laughs> I, 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 not enough, apparently. You know? So okay. I, I'm just you know, looking for you to mitigate or tell me that. What, 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 help, help save this part of our marriage, please. Okay. What's One, the plan? When you are getting married and buying, renting, whatever, a house... One, it's not necessary, but goodness gracious, if you can get it, huge lifesaver, separate vanities, separate sinks. If you can get a bathroom with two sinks in it, you can mitigate a whole lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Because yes, some people are like, I want everything out on the counter. And some people are like, I want nothing on the counter. And then there's the difference of, you know, some counters just aren't that big. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've all been in those... um, 50s era ranch home bathrooms that seriously the bathroom you know it's got that one little corner sink in it that is not much bigger than this ipad and one of those right exactly and then it's got the one mirror cabinet so that's and that's really all the space and then you've got a cabinet behind you and the stand-up shower and the toilet and And you're done right exactly and fitting two people in this bathroom is complicated enough so that's the extreme you know if you have a bathroom like that going to need to have to figure out how to make it work and one of the things that you need to do is prioritize all of the stuff that's right around the sink needs to be the stuff that you use all the time and or requires water so things like toothbrush your medicine that you take every day Mm -hmm. um you know right up maybe to the moisturizer or the sunscreen that you put on your face and then everything else especially for ladies should go to a vanity or a grooming station in your closet or i mean even you have to carve out a section of your bedroom with you know a little desk table or something like that do that try to keep the bathroom as uncluttered as possible so that two people can use it with some level of sanity okay but it sounds to me like y'all have um, a bathroom counter with one sink that you share nope Nope. Uh, no, I. Her back is actually to my sink. Like our sinks are on opposite sides, so the bank is like her back is to me, my back is to her. So no, I. He, okay. he, here's here's the no, deal. No, 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 because I because Jim and I are the same. Now we're getting into. I have plenty of experience because Jim is the same thing. He's a, a lots of stuff on the counter, um, kind of guy. And better yet, lots of stuff in its original like, the ugly you know, deodorant pack it like oh yeah like i don't necessarily mind putting like bottles of perfume say on the counter because they're pretty right right, right? okay and, and this is a no, relatively this is a green com- stick of mitchum on the counter exactly Ooh, right. I, it's just it's an eye store it's like driving down the interstate with all sorts of like you know advertisements and signs all over the place yep. it's just kind of yeah okay and actually i just did a couple months ago i redid our countertops same thing so i did things like i decanted um Jim's mouthwash uh, into a um, upcycled oh, whiskey. No. Um, yeah, no, he loves oh, it. No. He loves it. No, no, no. So there are all sorts of things. <laughs> so if it's if it's an aesthetic problem, we can get into aesthetic problems later. But there are all sorts of ways that you can repackage things and display things in a way that, again, function over form. I want you to be able to use it. You right. know. Um, so you know, don't necessarily put it in the fancy crystal bowl or whatever that you're too afraid to touch that's not where the soap goes right. Um, <laughs> right. um so neatness matters uh I'm trying to think through some because i was not quite pe- prepared for well, the the his and hers um I same know, question I, but well, it's totally it's totally dual and different people have different preferences on how much is out on the counter and how much is below if you have separate sinks then for the most part, I'm going to say his sinks the way that he prefers it and her sinks. Now, now if she puts it under, if the only time she puts the basket under the counter is when she's cleaning it, well, that's that's to make that, it easy for cleaning. And if you have to pull it out once yep. a week, leave it. Right. So my, my default sort of goes to this is that ultimately she's the one that is doing the maintenance on the bathroom. Right. And if she has to move a bunch of tchotchkes around, because like, I mean, I keep, the I keep a lot of, I mean, I keep a lot of stuff. I put everything that I need to get ready is, is on my sink in this one area. So 
cleaning now, in them. one basket because well, I, mean, I have maybe, a tray maybe she puts it in the yeah it's in the basket but then like by the time that i'm done and i'm out the door maybe the shaver is on the side maybe the toothbrush is in the top left maybe the soap is out the deodorant probably is sitting out with its cap off like i mean it's that Ryan. okay i mean i'm exaggerating here <laughs> okay not really but, <laughs> so it's, 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 anyway to me, so i i just say you don't want all of that because i do ultimately fall on the side of I like it clean. Right. Because it's easier to clean. It right. makes it, right? And so you want as, when it comes to the cleanliness of your bathroom, you want the least amount of barriers to entry as possible. Mm-hmm. Right? So if you look at your counter and think, oh, I have to move 10,000 items to wipe this counter down, then you're not going to be cleaning the way that you probably should right. be. And then, oh, by the way, when you do and you lift those things up, the rings of junk that is uh-huh. going to be there that is all of these things that we've talked about all mixed up into one right well, but it also yep. requires more scrubbing right. that makes it more, more effort the whole thing here's a quick fix for that yep trays trays okay and also you like things in your bathroom to be like like i don't want to have to think about where my toothbrush i use it so much not only do i want it one motion storage i want it one motion not thinking about it storage yep. so when i'm standing at my bathroom facing my faucet i could be blindfolded and i could pick up everything i needed yeah okay so one it needs to be put in places that make sense two it needs to be consistent mm-hmm. um then the other thing i also have things corralled in trays and or so if it is on the counter it is corralled in a metal tray mm-hmm. so that way when it comes time to clean all you have to do is move the one now the one object has you know ten things of you know some mouthwash and some makeup and all that kind of stuff. So you have to you know you can't just you gotta carefully move it, but you move one item, and there's not a ton of gunk underneath it and stuff. Yeah, definitely. So but definitely. that helps with corralling. Okay, so we have talked about the cleanliness, how to do it. We've talked to, we've joked around a little bit, but let's talk about the why. Right, the why is because. The bathroom is one of the nastiest places in the house, right? Mm -hmm. So let's get into that a little bit as far as what are some of the things in there that that we need to make sure. Like, why are we doing this? Why is this so important? Well, it's where you clean up. Um, and it needs to it needs to be hygienic. Like the idea is to actually clean up, um, and you can't clean up when you have dirty surfaces because then everything just cross contaminates. Um, and then also it needs to smell nice. You know, like it needs to say everything about oh I am cleaning up, which means it needs to also be fresh. Um, and I'm usually thinking of scents here, and this is a place where there's all sorts of funky smells going around. And that's before we get to the point that you shower in there and it's damp, and so it encourages things like mold and mildew, which add their own little extra scent onto the top of it. So we're keeping this clean in order to keep up with our own personal hygiene. And if the place that we're that we're cleaning ourselves in is not itself clean, then we're not going to be doing a very good job on the personal hygiene, no matter, you know, how we do the laundry or, um, you know, brush our hair or whatever. Mm -hmm. If the bathroom is gross and cruddy and so then I've gone and I've, you know, put my towel, I'm going to get in the shower and I've put my towel on the counter um, to, so it's there when I walk out of the shower, but the counter is all cruddy and gross. Well, now I'm going to dry off. And so, yeah, I've just cleaned up, but I've dried off with cruddy gross. Yep. So, and who knows what kind of, bathrooms are Petri dishes. Right. Because they tend to be darker. They tend, you know, because we don't have a lot of, or if you do have windows, they're higher up because you want privacy in them. So they tend to be darker. They're damper. They tend to be cooler, um, except when your shower's running, when they're warm. Oh, good. Petri dishes. They can grow all sorts of interesting things. I can remember, uh, this is, the story's twofold. So I can remember growing up and being in my house in Rhode Island that the top of the shower, you'd look up there and there'd be these little like black spots yep. up there because one of the areas that was, I mean, because I was too busy playing Mortal Kombat and not cleaning right. the bathroom, but there was these little black spots up there uh, and that's where a lot of the, the mold would collect right. up there. Right? Well, and because when you're taking the shower and the steam rises, right. you know, it just, it missed the mold growth yeah. every so day. Well, they, and and I'll, I will say this, just uh, if you own your bathroom or say you're looking to do something with your bathroom, you feel inspired mm-hmm. after this episode to do something, uh, get great paint for the bathroom 
paint comes specifically for bathrooms because you need paint that is that can tolerate moisture um you also if you're moving into an older house um you might need to get some mold treatment put on before because mold will grow through the new yes, growth of paint absolutely a new layer of paint uh learn that the hard way oh, sorry yep learn that the hard way when we moved into our house we did like a quick little um mm -hmm. and you I, I remember telling you this story mm -hmm. we did like a quick little rinse no problem painted over it okay looks great um, and it came back with, with a vengeance. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had to have a ton of work done. You know, we were thinking maybe we have to move out of our house because there was so much work that was going to have to be done. Because so, you covered it up and you let it yeah, grow and I, spread. Well, the right. thing is, it, it wasn't a negligence thing. It was just that we don't use that bathroom very often when we have guests, whatever. Um, and then all of a sudden, you, you started to notice the spots that grow through. And I mean, it went crazy quickly. It went from the top of the shower to the bathroom cabinets up into the air conditioning ducts. Like, it went out of control. And then once control. it's in the air conditioning ducts, it's all over the yeah, house. Yeah, it's all over like the house. Like, no, there's no amount of cleaning that you can do to right. ensure that you don't, that you got it all. Yeah, so. Because most spores. Yeah, you know, it's so yeah. different than, say, like, a, a kitchen, right? right? Where a kitchen is just, like, you clean the thing and then you're done. Right. Where the bathroom is 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 this sort of ongoing battle against bodily fluids and mildew and mold and right. all the things, the heat, the cool. Uh, it, it just, like you said, it's a petri dish. It's the perfect way for things to come out. Right. So, um, what else in closing? Um, actually, we skipped over. Um, we skipped over one part. Like, what kind of things do you need to keep on hand? Um, so let's go over bathroom. So what else in the next segment? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Sorry, we bounced around on this yeah. one because we were having fun. Yeah, and it's kind it was, of a, okay. It's just um, funny, just funny things happen in the bathroom. The funny things happen in the bathroom. You know they do, and everybody loves a little bit, just yeah. a little bit of potty humor. Yes. As you know, those of us who've had toddlers, some of us know. like more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so stocking your bathroom, um, specifically linens. You want, as we discussed, you want the bath mat outside mm -hmm. whenever you're walking out of one of the wet areas you want a mat there and probably want one in front of your sink just because it's a little more comfortable and a little more hygienic to be able to um stand on those um and then wash them every once in a while or once or twice a week um at minimum two towels per each person because really if you have a well ventilated clean bathroom um but, and you've hung your towels properly so they don't stay damp for the whole time between two to three uses mm -hmm. per person tops. Um, so just for laundry convenience, you know, if you have two people using that bathroom, then you need at minimum four bath towels. Yep. Um, I actually use washcloths as um, towels in our bathroom. So you can get hand towels for your bathroom. Um, same thing, probably two per person. Um, and... Um, then a lot more washcloths because you use washcloths for, you know, or maybe mm -hmm. you use scrubbies in the shower or whatever else. Um, but so you probably need about, tw uh, maybe not twice the number of them. So for two people, four towels, four hand towels, and I would say six or seven washcloths um, to kind of cycle through. Um, plus the bath mats. What else am I missing? And then hand soap at each sink. Um, gotta have soap at the sink, boys. Gotta have soap at the sink. I'm just gonna. That was that was one of my things with Lauren. Didn't have hand mm -hmm. soap. I yeah, mean, and it's scarred, gotta, right. scarred for for life. Mm -hmm. Oh, and same rule applies. Toilet paper reloads should be within reach of right. the toilet. I mean, yep. even if you just get a basket and you put toilet paper rolls in the basket, so all you have to do is reach down if yep. it happens to be done. That's that's um, the way to do it. Also, just a fun little tip because these are now more popular and people are doing them because, oh, you're going to make sure it's still running. Good. I mean, I was trying to do it without drawing attention to it. Oh, okay. Well, I know. I'm not helping with that at all. Are we good? I mean, it looks good. Okay, excellent. It looks good. <laughs> I mean, it's, um, it's manufacturers are coming out with more of these and I highly recommend them. Um, the little hook um, toilet paper hangers. So all you have to do is pull off the old roll and put them instead of doing the little, like, for some reason, and... I can sit here and complain about it, except for the fact that I'm one too, that I will put the toilet paper, the new toilet paper roll on top of the other, because I'll, I'll, I'll change it later. I'll put it on. You disgust me. <laughs> you disgust me. I can't, I can't abide this. 
I <laughs> you uh, hate the hooks. I love the hooks. No, I I can't. I or can't you can't divide the person that just. Some, all right, there's two things that drive me nuts. <laughs> Okay, number one is when someone does that, they finish the last toilet paper, then they put it on top of the... Of I'll the, get to the, it right. later. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, because it doesn't take less than 10 seconds to do. I know, I, I don't... Mean, it, I, it, right. I, I teach a podcast on life administration. Trust me, I understand the irony here, but just like everybody has a junk drawer, everybody has their one... This is mine, I will... I'm that person. Okay, so then the <sighs> second thing... Whoops. ...is... If you do, in fact, put the toilet paper on and you have to pull it from where the wall is and it's not out front, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like if you if you just put the toilet paper on and if you don't put it on the right way, you'll have to pull the sheet from behind the roll, not in front of the roll. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Even the patent, even the U.S. patent for toilet paper shows that the roll, the, the loose part comes over the top. Mm-hmm. Well, tell... Just about oh. everyone that. No, no, no. It's like a cats and dogs kind of question. You prefer I, cats or dogs, London and Paris. Which way do you put the toilet paper on? Because some people actually don't know why, but sometimes they like it pulled from the bottom. Those people yeah. probably like smooth peanut butter too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, if you know, uh, you okay, know. Yeah. If you know, you know. <laughs> so, Ryan, that makes three things that drive you absolutely insane. The, the list is long. <laughs> But I, I bring it out slowly, okay. not, to, not to show so all of my... we're going to slowly unroll it from <laughs> yeah. the top. It's like an onion that you have to peel back. It's got layers. It's got layers to it, for sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> what 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 else? What else? Uh, anything else we got for this one? Nope. I think we're good with bathroom. Okay. Y'all can, oh. y'all can hit us with questions yeah. if you need them. I, so... Our bathroom basics, yeah. obviously. I mean, I don't know. I could do a mini cast on how to clean a toilet. That's loads of fun. I, I don't I don't think no. so. <laughs> I'm sure somebody, I I will find some, actually, you know what the best thing, I'm still going to hawk this book. Um, Y'all need to go to the basic, um, oh, basic household management Mm -hmm. one and go and find the home comforts um, book manual. Mm -hmm. It's probably my highest recommend out of all the, yeah. Oh, no, I've got a bunch of this, but... So, you know, it'll explain it. The running joke always, of course, is how long did we go? And we really thought, we really we thought, really thought this we, was going to be 30 minutes. We really thought it was going to be 30 minutes. We're at 47 right now. 47. So, uh, boy, if you can't have fun cleaning the bathroom, where can you have fun? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. Anyway, Leslie, let's close it up. Where can people find you? Um, I am occasionally on Twitter at Leslie Loftus Tex. I run the show notes on the website, lifeadministration.com. And... Um, on Pinterest, I have boards for each episode, um, and that's life administration. Um, I'm also working on um, an account for Instagram, life administration. Very cool. Oh, and you can also email me at Leslie at life administration. Yes, you can email me, Ryan, at life administration. If you want to write an email to just the podcast in general, mm-hmm. uh, it's mailbag at life administration. Go ahead and send us there. You can find me on Twitter at Ryan Talon, R-Y-A-N-T-A-I-L-L-O-N. He spelled it right. Bravo, Yay! bravo. If you are listening to us on Google Play, Spotify, or Apple Music, Apple iPod Music, Apple... I don't know what whatever. they call it I, anymore. It's like Apple every, Podcast. Apple Podcast. That's actually yes. what it's called. Okay. That's actually what it's called. It's not iTunes anymore. It's old right. for old folks. Um, five-star rating. Thank you. Yes. We would we appreciate much, it. We would appreciate it. If you're watching us on YouTube, slap that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Comments, uh, always super helpful. Love to hear what you guys are thinking about this. And uh, feel free to tell us some of your... Bathroom Nightmares. fails. Yes. <laughs> bathroom yes. fails. I bathroom like that. fails. Yeah. Because that covers the. Yeah. Yeah. I got. I got many. I got many. But that's time for another podcast. I have Yay. been Ryan Talon. She has been Leslie Loftus. I have no idea where he started with that tense, but it happened about five episodes ago, and now <laughs> I'm just I'm rolling with it. I like. I don't know what it is because we have been awesome. There we go. We have been awesome. Have a- and y'all have been awesome. Thanks for hanging with us. Yeah, thanks for hanging and, with um, us. And 30-something episodes in now. Yep. And it's mm-hmm. just like, this is just what we do. Yep. So it's very, very cool. Guys, thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye.